Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of our DB Daily's vlogs. It's cars and coffee, but well, it's caffeine, we're drinking tea in the shade. Tea, yeah. uh, I'm down here today with Mark Evans, I'm down in Kilmore. We're going to go down to Kilmore Key a little later on. And we're here to talk about his stunning lineup of minis and there are some quirky stories. You're looking so good, you're looking so Oh Mark, we're down here today, right? And we're going to talk about Mini Coopers. It's a car I think that people have kind of an idea in their head of what they are, but I don't think they kind of know the variety that comes along with them, the different I suppose, places they're made, different models that come and how it goes forward. So yeah. today we're going to do a quick one, I suppose, on all four, yeah. mainly talking about maybe... Specify on one of them anyway. the, the flagship, today, I suppose, yeah. for the minis here, right? Um, but we are going to try and give people a bit of knowledge, I suppose, on minis a little bit as well, how they came, where they came from and stuff. Is that okay? Yeah, no problem. Cool. <laughs> so we were talking about minis, right, and people can see as it is, we have, we'll call it a hatchback here, yeah. but we have an estate here. Yep, two estates, two hatchbacks. Yeah, so they did come then, I suppose, in different models and different sizes and stuff as well. Yeah. As far as your knowledge then, as they go, say, as far as estates go, there was the hatchback, yeah. there was the estate, yeah. there was a sport. There was Cooper Sport, so that one there is just Cooper Sport. So the blue one behind us over here is yeah, the Cooper Sport? one of the last ones. Uh, there's earlier models in as well, so like 1966 was when they first started. Yeah. Being made, they're kind of the Mark ones. Yeah. So they're slightly different in as well. They have different windows, different door handles. You can kind of see by the shape as well. Yeah, and yeah, from cool. From seventy two, seventy four onwards, then there was a Mark two, which was slightly different in again. Yeah. And then after that, then was the Mark threes, which is basically this one. And then yeah, you also have your estates then as well. Yeah. And the estates and all kind of look the same. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a lot of people wouldn't have even have seen an estate mini like. No. And I know you've come to our show as well and the fuel series as well. And a lot of people did see the estate yeah. and they're like. What's going on here? Like, they you didn't know what it was. Yeah, you know, that's why I had to tell them it was. Yeah, a mini. exactly. Like, what? But so the series that we were going chronological, they started in what year? Sixty-six. Sixty-six, yeah. and this we'll call it. This chassis was made up until. Um, yeah, two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. Yeah. So you're lucky then. You have a seventy-nine. Seventy-nine is my oldest. And up the estate. And up to zero zero. Zero zero. zero. Yeah. So. As far as Mini had the, the concept, I suppose, of if it's not broken, don't fix it. And yeah. it is, they're an iconic car. We've seen them in films, the Italian job, which was actually made twice. Twice, <laughs> and, 1969 and yeah. 2003. And Austin Powers going around with his Mini as yeah. well. So we were talking about Austin Powers, right? And a lot of people see Minis with the Union Jacks on the roof. And yeah. even the newer ones come with a Union Jack in the light, okay? So Minis are not predominantly British. No, they they start off British. They're mostly British made, and then they're imported into different countries. Okay, yeah. But like they started with Le they had Leyland, then they went to Austin, and then Rover. So Austin, Austin. Uh, the two estates are Leyland, and then the last one is the Rover. Yeah. But like like I said, different countries. Like this one behind us now is actually Japanese. Yeah. So it's a Japanese import. So it's weird, like like that. People yeah. think European, kind of British, but then yeah, this is a Japan so You've got some wing mirrors on the bonnet and That's stuff it. here as well, isn't Couple it? Like, little torquey details that are different compared to a normal British one. Yeah. You have a completely different dash. It actually comes with factory air conditioning as well, which you can't really <laughs> yeah. get. There, there are actually very few of these in the country. Okay, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's not many of them. There's about 30, maybe 40 of them if you're lucky. Yeah. So they're a very rare car as well, especially. And it, like, you might look at it and think it's actually British racing green, but it's actually not. It's actually a different shade of green colour. Yes, yeah, For yeah. the Japanese market. And they're very popular over there then as well when they were being Could sold over there. Japan have the whole a K car series over yeah. there with cheap tax and insurance and stuff over there as well for emissions, isn't it? So That's it, yeah. Like a Mini would fit directly into that kind yeah. of category, Little really. One litre engine. Yeah. Perfect. As far as engine sizes go then, we're talking. We're saying we're starting so off with. You can get the early model started with an 850cc engine. Okay, yeah. And yeah. then they kind of started going towards the 998s, which are the one litres. Yes. Um, the estates, like this one here, came originally with a 1.1 litre. Yeah. And then you can go up then and get like your kind of better engines then. So 1275 then, which is the GT engines. They're the quicker ones. That's yep. in the cream estate. Yeah. And then from 90, they were all carbureted engines. And from 94 onwards, they started bringing in the fuel injected ones. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just for better efficiency and kind of a little bit more... Uh, more control on it. Reliable on it. Yes, well, yeah. yeah, so yeah. 
The zero zero one, that is actually uh, fuel injected. So yeah. you can get single point injection or multi point injection. And that Ooh. one there is multi point injection. Yeah, yeah. So, so she's, as far as we call it, m modern fucking features on it, I suppose you call it. it. That's the most yeah. modern that you can get yeah. at the moment. Because like, even, I don't know if you can see roofs here either, right? But like the older cars, they have like the slotted roofs and stuff. We have a, a full roof and then you've actually yeah, a sunroof. Full electric sun sunroof. Sunroof, yeah. yeah. So. It's like the soft top version of Familiar, yeah, exactly. well, isn't it? It's weird though, right? Because we were taking them out with a the shed here as well. And Mark generously let me drive some of them out with a the shed, right? But going from the oldest Mini to the newest Mini, like, yeah. they're very similar to drive. Even though you're going from a carburetor to fuel injection and stuff yeah. as well, there's not much difference in them, like, is there? No. And even as far as driving them as well, like I have the MX-5 at home, right? I feel a lot more cramped in an MX-5 <laughs> than I do in this, okay? Like, so just because they are small in height as well, yeah. they're actually, the space is not bad inside. No. Like, now I am only 5'11 and uh, a little same, bit. Same height as me <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. So, like, for someone our height then, not bad. Like, you know, it is comfortable. As far as comfortable driving goes, <laughs> Mark is, if anyone was going to tell you about Mini, okay, in Ireland, right, we've a uh, Mizzen Head and Malin Head, yeah. right, I don't know which one's. Ma Malin's north, most northerly point of Ireland, and Mizzen is the most southerly point of Ireland. So we'll get a snapshot that can, up that you can there, drive to. a Google so. Maps snapshot up, right? Yeah. So recently, Mark and the Irish Mini Owners Club went on a journey from Mizzen to Malin. We do it every year. Yeah. So because of COVID and all last year, we weren't able to do it. Yeah. But, so this year then we said right let's do it yeah. and we organise it and we've done it in one day so it's possibly the longest <laughs> drive you could get from A to B we'll call it without going around Ireland yeah. it's from point so. to point it's the longest drive yeah. and look at like we're huge advocates here at DB Dailies of driving your car and right. like getting it out and driving to shows and they were made to be driven like they were not That's made it. to be cooped up and they're not made to be trailered and stuff so how did you find obviously you Mark also has a, a Focus ST that he drives, okay? But as far as driving the car of such an age group, right? Like, how did you find the journey? Like, how did it go? Reliability, comfort, you know, how did you find the journey? Very comfortable now. So, I drove the Cream Estate for the whole trip. Yep. And both my parents actually came with me. Okay. And they drove the the newer model, the, yes. the 001, yeah. which I only bought a week before I went on that trip. And it broke down on the way home from Dublin. <laughs> I we we'll, we'll gloss over that fact. <laughs> yeah. But, see, when I'm going on trips like that, I always make sure I bring tools and spare parts of me. You'd want, I think in any car you'd want to be doing things it. like that. That's the yeah. best thing about the estates. Yeah. You can fill the boot with the tools, the spare parts, anything you kind of need, a yeah. jack, a couple of axle stands, something that might start to help you on the side of the road yeah. if it needs be. Yeah, yeah. So I had everything in the estate anyway, not a bother. I needed one tool throughout the whole trip, a small players, just to just to refit a fuse that came loose for my wipers. So we're talking the, she's a 79. 79. So 79, longest journey possible in Ireland, we'll call it. Yeah. And she dropped the fuse. Dropped the fuse, that's it. So this is for car heads out there and people who are just, say, watching the channel and learning about all their cars and stuff as well. Like, they're still on the road, like, they're still driving, like, it dropped a fuse. Like, yeah. if I was to do that, I have a caddy van, Mark has the ST, to do the same journey. Like, anything could happen, Something like, Something could break down even yeah. more, like. like, it's a long drive, like, as far as comfortability goes, I know they are a bit smaller, I suppose, they don't have maybe such mod cons, but a very doable trip, we call it. That's it. So, you can do an extra couple of bits, like, put your seats back a bit further with little extension rails, you make it a little bit comfier. Yep. And you can do stuff like that, but... Because of the small fuel tank, I had to stop a lot of times, so I was able to stretch the legs a bit. Yeah. So between, How many stops? <laughs> so I drove through 16 counties over the, the three days, driving to... Of 32 that we have, 32, just to say, yeah. And I stopped for fuel 13 times. 13 times. Oh so God. I stopped in 13 of the 16 counties. I but you're, you don't have, like that though, even the amount of fuel you're using, it's a small tank, so it's not like That's you were burning loads of petrol. No, it was just you, you get about tank. 200 kilometres over tank and maybe throw about, the, the most I put into it was 18 euros <laughs> well, of there, fuel. So. There we go then, isn't it? Like, there you go. <laughs> not too bad. So we're talking, you were t saying about extended fuel rails and stuff like this, right? I know from the Mazda scene, I suppose we can call it the Miata, Uno's roster scene, MX-5 scene, yeah. there is companies that specify in parts for them. Yeah. As far as Mini goes, people say, all oh, our cars are really hard to get parts for and stuff. How have you found, say, dealing with Minis? Out of everything, out of actually all the six Minis I've actually owned, I can not buy maybe one part brand new off the shelf. Yeah. That's what yeah. I found out. Everything I get is from, mostly is from the UK. Okay. There's three companies in Ireland now that actually do parts for the Minis. Yeah. So, and if they can't get some of the parts in, I can actually get them 
through the UK 100% yes. three maybe four maybe five days at the most and they'll be here yeah. and each part then individually say we're talking about door handles right interior yes. door handles you can buy OEM parts you can yeah. buy modified parts you know like to kind of it. jazz it up a bit I suppose yeah, I bought new interior door handles for two, two of the cars yeah so little drilled holes and all that make them look a bit cooler yeah and you can buy brand new par- brand new parts that are actually factory made as well that yeah. make it look like from factory and, and this is this is one of the things we're talking about adding on to your car and you're going for that OEM plus look we'll call it maybe yeah. like we have four minis here right and people say sure mini is a mini like but each one of them is so individual like and That's has it. its own individual story its own individual look and yeah. people coming to our shows and going to other shows like what do I need to do to go to your show like it's your taste, your style, you know, put whatever touch you like is, yeah. you know, everyone should have their own flavour, like, isn't it really? Like That's it, sure, I have I four of them, and each one I wanted to do something different on, each one of them. Yes, so yeah. So, different wheels, yeah, fair enough, two of them, three of them have spotlights, but they're actually, they're different makes of spotlights. Yeah. The ones on this one are from Halfords. Yeah, and, and one, one nearly made me shit my pants when you blew the horn, because yeah. that's a truck. Two, two of them have uh, 150 decibel truck horns. <laughs> That you can't really see because they're blended in. This one's blended in with the chrome bumper, and that one's black, so it yeah. kind of they, you don't really see it at first. Yeah, but well, it definitely frees the yeah. fucking life out of you when you blow it. Yeah, but it is. So as far as the mini goes, Mark Rice, you have a favorite. Has to be this one. The this flagship, one it. Yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And Mark was fortunate enough, I suppose, he came to our fuel event, and we don't judge the prizes at the fuel event, but Shamey from uh, Southeast Auto Supplies with the auto reflect guys chose your yeah, car as the winner I was, I was shocked I, I, yeah. I couldn't get over it I was delighted but it is really look I apologise it is winter time in Ireland at the moment and the weather's a bit overcast but this is a a, a real eye catcher not only the colour but just the quality of the whole build is absolute it's a credit to you pal yeah. like it's, it's unbelievable you know yeah, everything from the ground up is built brand new Yeah. so now over the winter time now I'm going to actually spend the time and I'm actually going to build the original engine to go back into this yeah so that's going to get bored out, uh, bigger pistons, upgrade a high lift cam, maybe get a different head for it. I'm going to get a better carburetor and full stainless exhaust system for it as well. Awesome. So it's just, just for more reliability and kind of a little bit more poke. Yeah, that's now, no problem. I'll get yeah. it maybe up to about 100, maybe 110 horsepower. Like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Too much power, too much power. <laughs> exactly. But for me now, that's that's perfect. Like, yeah, yeah. But ideal. it is even like, look, we were talking, I was driving out here as well, and like such small wheels. Like power steering's not needed, like it's no. light as hell anyway. Like yeah. but the cars are it's great to see them all out, like and it's great to see that they are so different and individual. And to educate people, I suppose, on that a mini doesn't necessarily mean it's British. No. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a hatchback. You know what I mean? Like there is they're so different and the taste can be so different. And I'm sure the Irish Mini Owners Club is looking at us now and they have a fleet of minis as well exactly. that are all so different to what you have here yeah. like, isn't it and even with the just speaking of the mini owners club in particular like I've been a member there now for the last three years yeah. they open they, they welcome you with open arms they, they've started as well like they want more people with the newer shaped minis to get involved as well yes yeah, yeah. so we've made friends with newer um, mini owners that Fantastic. have from zero to onwards which is the, the newer shape the newer shape, shape. Yeah. yes yeah they're, yeah, yeah they're part of the club now as well yeah and but it is and for people say maybe that are not from Ireland or don't know the car scene in Ireland like it is quite open and like you know what I mean yeah. and like you're saying about I've gone to many like we've gone to the Gory Motor Club the Ford Enthusiast <laughs> ourselves at DB Daly's now we were talking about the Irish Mini Owners Club yeah. there's the United Car Society Leinster Car Scene all the guys there GTI and I and they there's are so a family, like, isn't it? Like, and everyone's it. welcome, like. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter what car you have, you could have a bog standard car with one sticker on it. Doesn't matter. We'll still welcome you in. Yeah. yeah. You know, you need any help with your car, send us a text. Yeah. You know. So even guys, Mark is here with minis. So if anyone does have a mini, like, you know, be sure to give him a, a shout out or whatever, or ask him questions and stuff. If you're stuck with any parts on you at all, yeah. give us a shout. I'll get you onto the right people anyway. Yeah. If you want to join the club, twenty euros a year. Happy days. You go but to even all the shows. as far as things like. The latest update or the latest mod on this one, you've even gone to disc brake conversion yeah, as well. So like. It originally came with drum brakes from factory and not really the best stopping power at the minute. So at last weekend I I bit the bullet and put a set of seven and a half inch disc uh, 
discs and brakes on it. Yeah. So I bought the seven and a half inch ones just so I could actually keep my wheels because yeah. I, I like my ten inch wheels. Yeah, hundred so percent. They're fantastic. For the sake of seven hundred quid, now I bought and fully built it then at but, the weekend. But like this, that could be a flaw that other people are finding on their car, like, and yeah. to get in contact with Mark and find out about these things and kind of get help along the line. Um, so not even right. We're going to have Mark's Instagram tag and stuff up there as well to get a hold of him, right? And he's. A mini connoisseur, maybe oh, we yeah. call it. Is it sorry? <laughs> but saying that as well, Mark has his own YouTube channel, right? He has the Detailing Crew. Yep, all one word, the yeah. Detailing Crew. If you want to look it up on YouTube. So we'll hit, down in our description down below. Hit the, the drop down arrow or whatever, and we'll put a link in there as well. So I can I like I can't condone can it enough what you're doing. Alright, is going through detailing products for cars for everyone say for the, the Joe Soap the Weekend Warrior we'll call them That's it. the show scene or whatever yeah. but you're shining a light on products that people would see or might not see or they'd say going for the bigger brands might not always be the best option no that's it like if you're like me as well and like I don't have a favourite brand I use bits and bobs from any type of car cleaning products yeah, yeah. it doesn't have to be the most expensive part just because the bottle looks the nicest Yeah. you know you can go from the cheapest parts to, or the cheapest products and still get what you want out of it 100% yeah fantastic. so that's, that's just what I'm trying to show and I'm trying to show people like some tips and tricks on using stuff by buying stuff in like home savers and home store and more as well but it, you're still using it on your car I, I won't give anyway any spoilers <laughs> That's it, like, yeah. you don't you don't think of these things yeah. going into these shops you but, think up oh, straight to a car cleaning shop now to buy the products yeah 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 and it is like look at guys we have obviously sponsors along with our club as well right but it is the fact that you can go into shops that you know, you might not think of for car detailing products yeah. and get items there to help you out. So it is, guys, I'd like to say a huge jump over to Mark's channel there, right, on the detailing crew. Just to check in on things, I know one of my favourite ones, I suppose, is even the tyre shine because yeah. you went with one that I use. <laughs> so, it. but it is, guys, right, make sure to hop over to Mark's channel as well, right? Now, so we're inside the mini here, right, just to give you a heads up, I suppose, or our heads up. Uh, we're five foot eleven there, thereabouts, and we, ha we still have plenty of room and as you can see then as well we have back seats and there's a boot and all back there as well so just because you think it's a mini and there's no room for anything like there's plenty of space that's it so we're on the way down to Kilmore Key and we're going to take some sexy shots and so guys for me here right at db dailies all right i'm donors underscore db dailies and mark evans your instagram uh, mark monster 34. So, yeah so i'd like to say first of all make sure to head over to mark and the detailing uh, detailing crew on youtube right check out his channel hit him up get likes make sure to like and subscribe his channel as well yeah, and all on goes. facebook as well and same facebook. thing uh, all of that will be down in the description i'd like to say mark Thanks very much for showing off your minis here today. We're going to go down for a drive now to get a few sexy shots as well. Why not? So you might get a quick clip of our little drive down long so it's not all bumpy or anything to show that Hopefully they can anyway. be comfortable. Exactly. For me anyway guys and the whole DB Daily's crew, I'd like to say thanks very much for watching. All right? Make sure to head over to www.dbdailies.com where you can get a hold of some of our merchandise. Hoodies, t-shirts, lanyards. We've actually got a man here with some more stuff today. Sunstrip stickers, anything you can think of, we have it over there, right? Uh, I'd like to say head over to our Instagram and Facebook pages, get in contact with us, of course, at any time with any questions you have, or to even get in contact with some of the guys that have been on the vlog. If you have a car that you think is worthy of coming on our vlog, be sure to hook us up, we'll come out and visit you. I'd like to say like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel because the more that we can get on the channel, the more money we're able to raise for charity and every help, like, thumbs up helps along the way. Exactly. Guys, thanks very much for watching.